Hi, I'm Max Baldwin. I've been a humanitarian aid worker for the past 17 years and I live and work in Colombia, Bogota. Why do I work with the Karina Network? I went to Afghanistan. I worked and went to Afghanistan after the takeover of the Taliban in 2021. What was different in that experience compared to, compared to other countries, to other contexts, was that I normally would be uh, focusing on what kind of aid we'll deliver and how we're going to deliver it. In, in the case of Afghanistan, a major, major challenge for us was also how will we get our teams to deliver that aid. We, and specifically, how do we get women to be part of our teams? Um, how do we get women to be in the office? How do we get women to be able to drive to communities? How do we get women to be able to be safe in communities with all the challenges and all the restrictions that the Taliban have been putting in place? Um, doing that process, doing that work um, was, was successful, but it also brought me uh, into a much closer contact with, with many female colleagues, um, not just listening about you know, what their what their day-to-day -day challenges were so that we could help support them, but also to understand and hearing from them why they were in the office in the first place. What are their motivations? What are their goals? What are their ambitions? And what, um, what have they had to study and what have they had to go through in order to, to, to be where they were, to be in the office, uh, working in those roles that they have. I'm Victor Garcia from Universidad Autónoma de Barcelona. I work in the Transmedia Catalonia Research Group. We are focused in audiovisual accessibility and we work in many different European projects. So in, we are working in this project called Mediaverse, where we are developing a digital and democratical platform for content creators. And our role in Canina project is to facilitate these immersive technologies to create this story that you are and to uh, help uh, people to tell their stories. And we are focused also in uh, studying how uh, 360 co-creation uh, can impact uh, social inclusion. from Herat, Afghanistan, a member of Krina Network. I'm a member of Krina Network because I want to help my poor country, especially women and men, to pass through this difficult and darkness of Afghanistan. Hi, this is Nazanin, a Krina Network member and a young girl from Afghanistan used to have big dreams of being successful, strong and impactful across generations, covering my mother's generation whose dreams were disseminated. A girl used to fight and stand up for her right within her family and the broader community for who she wanted to be and strive to eliminate harmful traditional practices in family, school, university and so on, who chose her future education in law and her career as a defense lawyer. Dream that we would finally have a balanced community where everyone, specifically females, would be seen, offered opportunities, and be able to defend their rights. So I kept pushing forward with a strong determination and big dreams, even when others laughed at my aspirations. I dedicate myself to the paths and goals I had chosen. I worked hard to excel in university and to pass the defense lawyer exam for my license. I aimed to be an advocate for those whose rights were violated by others. I started working on eliminating violence against women and young girls and sought to join larger humanitarian efforts and tried towards my future goals, including becoming a human rights activist in Afghanistan. All of a sudden, everything changed. 
now here in Afghanistan, all efforts, dreams, wars for independence and fights for human rights have gone down to drain in just a couple of hours. Now, it's been almost two years. I have not been able to pursue my future educational goals or follow my dream work. I know I'm not alone. There are thousands like me. I feel like a complete failure, like always advocating for the rights of others, but now I struggle to do so for myself. I just wanted to share my story, hoping to speak on behalf of thousands whose stories have not been defined by themselves. Perhaps my story can be a spark of hope for a change. Now, where I'm speaking from is Karina Network, a place that is full of a sense of belonging as we share the same interests, goals, passions, values, and background. This network provides a platform for members to collectively address important matters. It's a supportive environment where members can seek advice, share experiences, receive encouragement from others who understand their challenges. Eventually, all members become experts who can help each other learn and grow in both personal and professional aspects, as all will be provided valuable insights and opportunities. In the future, we have planned to work on interesting ideas and Karina Network member will be supported with opportunities to access information, resources and expertise in their respective fields. We also share a sense of purpose and fulfillment, knowing that we are contributing to something meaningful. Although we are currently in the first place, I aspire to use this network for a broad range of support and engagement in various areas. The goal is to assist all network members in pursuing their passions, interests, ideas, and to advocate for the opportunities within the wider community. Learning as we go, I aim to enhance my capabilities and connect with others who share similar goals and interests in order to offer them support. I believe uh, this journey will lead to growth and success, inshallah. Thank you.